Today I want to talk about why these cucumbers look so much better than these cucumbers. On a recent video that we did, I think it was one of our row by row shows where we were talking about fertilizing your garden, how often and how much you should fertilize your garden. We had a viewer comment and say, I've never fertilized my garden. Is that something I should be doing? Now this can be a complicated question to answer, but I've got some experimental results today that I want to show you that will help explain why we do have to fertilize our vegetable plants. Behind me here, I've got about a 40 foot row of these stonewall cucumbers. And I can honestly say, these are probably the best looking cucumbers I have ever grown, especially considering how late into the summer we've been able to grow these things and continue the cucumber production. I've been getting some really solid production off this row of cucumbers. I come in here about every other day and harvest these guys and I've been getting about a five gallon bucket or one of these medium tub truck fulls every other day. As you can see here, the vines look really nice and healthy. We've got nice big green leaves and they're just covering the entire trellis so much that the trellis can't even hold all the vines. I've got a lot of these vines that are just running out into the other part of the garden. So just really, really dense vegetation here and really, really productive cucumber patch. These here are the Stonewall variety as well. And these were planted just about the same time that the good looking cucumbers were, only about a week apart. Now these have received the same amount of water that the good looking cucumbers have, but I haven't put any fertilizer on these. Now these are starting to produce a little bit. We're getting a cucumber here and there, but nothing like the production on the good looking vines. If we do a quick comparison on the leaves, we can see a huge difference. So this is the biggest leaf I have from the pitiful looking cucumbers and these leaves on the good looking cucumbers are big as a lily pad. You can also see the color, there's a big difference there. So this one is kind of yellowed, looks kind of nutrient deficient, whereas these leaves are nice and strong and really dark green. So what's the big secret here? Well, this row of cucumbers has been fertilized on a regular basis. And by that, I mean at least once every two weeks. So underneath this row of cucumbers, we have our drip tape buried so we can keep plenty of water to them throughout these really warm months. But we can also use that drip tape to fertilize these plants. And I've been using my Easy Flow injector every two weeks to pump fertilizer in there to feed these cucumbers. Now what I've been using to fertilize them with is our 20-20-20 and our Micro Boost. So I mix those together in the Easy Flow injector I've been using about two pounds of the 20-20-20 and about two cups of the Micro Boost to feed these cucumbers, my flowers, and some of the other plants in this plot. So back to the original question of should you fertilize your vegetable plants? That's gonna depend a lot on your soil type. Here in the south, we have this really sandy soil, which is awesome to grow in because it's easy to work and easy to plant into. The downside of this sandy soil is that it doesn't hold nutrients very well. Any kind of organic matter in here is just going to burn up really fast, which is kind of accelerated by the extreme heat we have. So we have a hard time holding nutrients in this sandy soil. Now if you have clay soil, it's going to hold nutrients a lot better, so you may not need to fertilize as often. But in our sandy soil, a frequent fertilizing is essential to have a nice, healthy Plants. So I hope you enjoyed that comparison on what a fertilized crop of cucumbers versus an unfertilized crop of cucumbers looks like down here where we live. Now I'll be ripping up those pitiful looking cucumbers pretty soon. I just wanted to grow that and show the difference between when we do feed them and when we don't feed them. The take home message here is to understand your soil. Get a soil test and understand what type of soil you have. Do you have sandy soil like we do that are gonna require more frequent inputs throughout the growing season? Or do you have more dense clay soils that are gonna hold on to the nutrients better and not require as many inputs? I'll put some links below to our Easy Flow fertilizer injector and the two fertilizers we used on these cucumbers that look so great. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.